Hey folks, and happy Friday. So I just wanted to go over a couple of things what you're going to be doing today on your asynchronous lab period day. So first of all, you're watching this video. That's the first thing you need to take care of. So continue watching this to the end as I've got some important information for you. So a couple of things I want you to look at on our schedule for today. So there's a video that was sent out to you via email, um, and that came from Mrs. Safford and Mr. Lisinski, and that video covers a lot of the procedural things that you need to do and be aware of as we enter the hybrid model next week on Tuesday. Do remember this is a three-day weekend. We start a class hybrid on Tuesday, and if you're coming into the building at all, you need to make sure you watch that video for our expectations of what you need to be doing. Uh, so a couple things regarding just chemistry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through a couple items here. So one of the things that we want to minimize is the amount of uh, cross contamination or high contact surfaces of equipment in the in the in our classroom. So one of the things I'm asking you to partner with me by doing in order to make it easier for us to keep everything clean and safe in our room is to bring certain materials every day. So one thing you're gonna to need to make sure you bring is your Chromebook and your charger. You're probably still gonna be using your Chromebook in most of your classes. So do have that charger with you. They will not have loaners, I don't believe, in order to give you because your Chromebook battery died because you didn't charge it. So you're gonna to have to make sure you have your charger with you. Bring your earbuds, your headphones, so that you can listen to things if you're physically in a classroom. Have your notebook to continue taking notes or some paper in a binder. Um, as it gets colder outside, again, in order to keep ventilation uh, at safe levels in the building, some of those windows are going to be open, so make sure you have layers. Uh, for our class, make sure you've got a calculator and a periodic table. We're going to use those frequently. And then some other things that we won't use as frequently, but it might be to your benefit so that, again, you don't have to necessarily borrow my things. If you have a pair of scissors, some colored pencils or crayons or markers. Notice I said or, they don't have to be all of those things. Uh, a ruler, dry erase board, or just a page protector with a sheet of paper in it. That page protector will make a great whiteboard of sorts. And then some marker that you can erase. Okay, and there's a lot of different possibilities out there. Do not go out and buy any of those things, a scissors, colored pencil, ruler, et cetera, um, because I do have a few I can give you. But again, we want to make sure that we're minimizing the amount of things that we need to sanitize daily. OK, you're also going to have probably some downtime from time to time. And if you're like me, you're going to want to get away from your screen for a little bit. And so I'm really encouraging you in your backpack to have a book or a magazine, something that you can read or something that you can do that isn't related to your Chromebook. OK, so that way you can kind of just give your, your brain and your eyes a little break there. I will have some things that you can work on if there is some downtime and you don't have anything. I'll, sometimes we'll have some different coloring sheets, some Sudoku puzzles, et cetera, available out for you guys um, if that time does arise. Okay, So that's something in terms of materials. Again, the bottom half of the list, it's not a must bring, but if you have it, it would help us all ensure each other's safety if we can do that. As far as other things, the schedule for our class. So the home pages are going to start to look different for each week. And I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to break it down by um, by the red and blue or by class. Like I'm going to have to figure that out a little bit differently. OK, so just be aware that our schedule on the home page of Canvas for our class is going to look a little differently. Make sure you check your schedule on Monday. OK, that's, again, a day you don't have school. Um, make sure you check your schedule as some of the rooms that you're going to be in may have changed. So as far as schedules go, these are already in Skyward. OK, so for us, for first hour, class starts promptly at, at 725 and ends at 805. And so every day next week, regardless of whether you are in person or zooming in, you need to make sure that you are ready to go for chemistry at 725. Yes, technology issues pop up. You, some of us have started rolling in three, four minutes late consistently. That is not going to be acceptable. You're going to need to make sure that you're on class at time. The occasional tech issue is fine. 
but some of us have really been pushing that just showing up whenever. Okay. And I also will not be able to stop what I'm doing just to give you directions because you decided to show up five minutes late. So classes will have to start counting things as tardy. Okay. That's up to the individual teacher. But again, we're already down to 40 minutes. If you're missing five because you just forgot, you slept in, et cetera, that's still going to be something you're held accountable for. Okay. Um, as far as the schedule goes, we're going to be synchronous during first hour and during our ninth hour group. Okay. So for first hour, you're going to, my expectation is that you sign in and are with us, whether in person or Zoom, every day at 725. It, we're going to have some asynchronous work for first hour that's going to happen on Thursday and Friday. And so your two doubles periods are back to back days. And then I, I may or may not keep you on Zoom. It's going to depend on the day. But plan on first hour being on Zoom at 725 every day. For ninth hour, yours is a little bit different. So we meet ninth hour every day, but then Thursday, Friday, we meet eighth hour. So my expectation is the first period that we would meet each day, you're going to Zoom in with us if you're not physically in the building. So for ninth hour class, that means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're Zooming in ninth hour. Thursday, Friday, you're Zooming in eighth hour. If I give you asynchronous work, it would be after that for the ninth hour period. Okay, so again, ninth hour, you're zooming in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, eighth hour, or should be ninth hour, and then Thursday, Friday during eighth hour. Okay, so the first period of your block for that particular day. Okay, so this schedule I'll leave up here. Again, all this is available to you on Canvas. If you have any procedural questions, questions about how parking, lunch, passing periods, bathrooms, um, at this point in time, when I'm recording this video, it's on Wednesday. Um, I don't have a ton of answers to those types of questions. We're, we have a huge multi-hour meeting tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping that I'll get all those things answered then, but I won't be able to push that out to you guys. So if you have questions, my advice is to email the administration, um, Mr. Lisinski, Ms. Sofford, the deans. Email someone that you want to reach out to to ask those questions. Um, that they would be able to answer, especially if it's, you know, outside of our chemistry class. Okay. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Have a good weekend. Oh, before you go, sorry, almost some of you probably stopped watching. Um, after you've watched this video, there you have time to work on ketchup and pickles. So you should be working on getting caught up on anything you're missing from our electron unit. Okay, so get those grades up. I'm again, I don't take things from previous units. So anything from the unit three on the electron is still fair game. Get those things done, get them turned in. So we're starting a little bit fresher next week. Thank you.